Okay, here's the full tutorial on how I built these cedar plant boxes for under $30. You'll need five cedar planks at six feet tall. I find these in the garden section at Lowe's. They're fence pickets. I take three of the planks and rip them in half. That part is completely optional. The fourth plank I take and rip it into fourths, in which I use for the corner supports and the trim. And then I'm able to make four cuts out of each cedar picket that I have ripped in half. These will make up the side walls. I added a full cut list and materials list at the end of this video that you can screenshot. I also cut down the trim and the corner supports. If you don't have a table saw to rip the wood down, you can just buy one by twos and cut them to length. Right here, I'm just making the corner supports using one inch wood screws. You'll make four of these total. I used some wood to help support while I was putting the screws in. Next, you're gonna build two side walls. I used the one inch screws again. You can see right here, I have six planks and like I said before you don't have to rip the cedar planks in half but I just like it for the design element. I'm just making my second side wall using the other two corner supports so at this point I've used all four corner supports. Next I took the remaining 12 side planks and screwed them into one of the side walls that I had already built. First making the shape of an L and then making a shape of a U. Once you have all of those screwed in you can add the fourth side wall. And again, I still use just the one inch wood screws on all of this. Make sure when you screw these in that you get into the corner support. And then you're gonna see me adding the top. Well, it's actually the fourth side wall that I had put corner supports on already. And again, I used the one inch wood screws and went through and added one screw to each side wall. To build the bottom and a place to attach the wheels, I used some scrap two by fours. You can really use anything that you want for this, just as long as it's sturdy. I used two two by fours that were cut down and then I attached the wheels. I got these wheels on Amazon and I have them linked in my storefront. I've added these to, I think eight boxes so far and they've worked out nicely. I then took the remaining cedar plank, cut it down to size to fit inside the bottom, leaving enough room for proper drainage. I also took the remaining I forgot to include it in this video, but I took the remaining trim that I had already cut down and nailed it to the top, giving a nice clean finish. You can either line these with a grow bag or garden cloth. And there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions and here's the cut list.